We'll start with that. What does that mean to you to get spring MVP, especially when you consider the guy that you've had to replace? Yeah, that's it was really uh, like made me feel really good because I'm feeling some really big shoes and uh, I was trying to just step up to the plate and knock it out of the park, you know, because I, I don't want to be as good as him, you know, I want to be better than him. So getting that accomplishment was like really important to me. We go Sam over on the left. What would you say are some of the biggest challenges in stepping into your new role and, and how have you dealt with those throughout the spring? Um, the biggest challenges were probably blocking Bobby Brown <laughs> as he's like hovering over my snap hand. Um, I didn't really, I wasn't really struggling that much because I, I was the backup center all year last year. So I already knew the calls and like knew the offense. So I was just kind of just stepping in and just working on technique all spring. What is it like facing Bobby Brown rep after rep in practice? That's a challenge, you know. He, he comes every time, and we go four plays on, four plays off, so he gets his breather, and then he comes back full force. And if you're not going against him, you're going against Justin Matabuke, you know. So it's like there's no letting up any play, and it just makes you better. Are you all the way to the back, to Mike? I know it's only been spring, but how's the rapport between you and Kellen so far? Oh. As far as the center quarterback. I think, I think it's great. Yeah, we're boys, you know, we hang out like outside of the football facility too. So I think we're like, we have a good friendship outside of football and we just get along on, side, on the football field as well. So it's really good. Right in front of Wendell. Last year, last year in the spring, obviously everything was new. Coach Fisher was trying to teach you guys everything. Can you compare where you guys are now to where you were last year at this time? We made leaps and strides from where we were last year because last year we were just focusing on learning the offense what are the calls and the defense was figuring it out too so we were like it was it kind of made it harder on us trying to figure out what's the right call to make whenever like the defense is all moving around so this year we were really just able to focus on situations technique and just getting better personally because we already knew the offense on your left is sam Given the way you guys finished last year and, and how spring's gone, I guess, what would you say is kind of the attitude and the vibe of this team right now as you guys uh, head into the deeper end of the offseason? Be great. We, we, we want to win a national championship, SEC championship, go undefeated. We want to be dominant in the SEC, and we want to be feared by our opponents. On the right side, a bit. You know, when, when y'all went back and looked at, um, I guess, the amount of sacks that y'all gave up last year, I guess, did y'all ever pinpoint kind of why that was and, and what's what's one thing y'all are doing to kind of fix that going into next year? Coach Henson and Coach Grimes have kind of worked with us a lot pretty much every single day on our pass pro and just body position and not leaning as much and kind of just cutting off angles because last year we were kind of just set the same time, set, set the same way every single rep. And, I mean, for a defensive lineman, that's just – like this is easy pickings, you know. So this year we kind of like we change up our sets. We're not lean, we're not leaning nearly as much. We're using our hands, and we're just developing as players. Game will finish this off. How much of that has been the Henson factor? How much specifically for you have you developed under him early? I, I've developed a lot with uh, Coach Henson and Coach Grimes. You know, I, I come in and meet with either one of them. You know, every like pretty much every single off day watching the film, you know, just getting the little details right, like hand placement, replacing hands, like my foot, it's like a few inches off, just little little small details that I've just been trying to perfect my craft. All right, you're done, thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.